Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Hi, my name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with Two Supercrafts. And welcome to our channel. We're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or any extra gifts if your order qualifies um, in the form of free packs of gems or pearls as well as exclusive tutorial bundle designed by the Stamping Glam Squad and the Global Creative Project. We <laughs> we put out a couple of live streams throughout the week. Every Wednesdays and Sundays. So if you are enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. We also give away the cards that we create. So pop in a comment and you'll be put into the random draw um, at the end of the live stream or at the beginning of the following one. So before we do the random draw for this card, you sing what was, Peaceful Deer. What was that? Peaceful Deer. <laughs> Yay. Peaceful Deer <laughs> is what we use for that one. So that one, uh, if you'd like to see how that one was created and Barry's card as well. Sorry, I was covering your face. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> um, check out our, yeah, our channel. So it, it should be on Sunday's live, which was Sunday the 1st of August. So before we do the random draw for that one, we'll say hello to those of you who have joined us and popped in a comment. So hello, Julianne. Happy birthday. We yes, just saw birthday, that. Happy birthday, Julianne. Yay. Um, Kathy, Betty, Mandy, Maureen, and Mandy Allen. Sue, Connie, Janet, who else have we got? Linda, Ooh, he's another not Kathy. Tonight. He's not very good tonight, <laughs> is he? No, there's so many already. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Linda, Jeanette, Sandra BL, Debbie, and Janet M, Denise, Judy, hello, thank you so much for Excellent. joining us. Yes. yes, thank you everyone. So and Yes, happy birthday again to Julianne. Thank you so much for popping in and um, spending your birthday um, with us. Yes, and happy birthday to Mandy who had her birthday a couple of days ago. Yay, so I hope you happy have a lovely birthday. day. So, yes. So, birthdays all round. Yes. Jay's going to sing to you later. No. <laughs> I tried. We did have. I tried. We were listening to K-pop, and um, there was a song. Uh, it sounded like he was singing "Happy Birthday, Tommy." <laughs> it did. Anyway, yes. moving on. This is what I have to listen to. Um, so yes, yeah, so today we're going to be playing with mainly the peaceful cabin. That was the um, focus of today's video. See, so we can cover my own face. Um, focus of today's video but I'm also for one of the cards the first card I'm going to pair it with the peaceful deer again so we're going to do a bit of mixing and matching for today's project we're going to be using some nice papers some foils and they are all out of the new catalogue now we can actually show you this inside so I will show you that once we go camera down and you for every 45 pound spend you get to choose a free item out of this one here so we've used a lot of that already in previous projects so check those out and yeah you might be able to only sell something free if you do shop with us yeah. so good so we're going to pick a winner though now for the first card or for jay's or jay's jay's card anyway so we're going to do that and then we're going to go straight on to tonight's demo all right cool. so let's just move that over Right, I'll just refresh. Ooh, one extra one. Who's Good luck. Maureen. Maureen, congratulations. Maureen, if you would like to message us, please. Details popping up along the screen. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com with your address details and you're happy to win again. Um, so, and just pop today's date in the comment in the subject so that we know what card you have won. So congratulations. Right. Maureen, that card is working its way over to you. So well done. Congratulations. Jay's really happy with that card as well. So luckily he has got a second one. So you did make a second one, didn't you? Yes, I added the bedazzling. Yeah, he actually added some of the bedazzling um, underneath. Un underneath of it. So this is the second one he made. So Maureen, this is the one you have won. There. Let's take that off there now. 
Um, but this is the one which he made afterwards. So this is what got some of that beat well, down. That was the first card. I just inserted the. Okay. <laughs> So he's just added some of that be dazzling, and that's the that's some of the papers which you can get free of charge with celebration. So it's a nice six by six paper pack. But there we go. So good. Well done. So congratulations. So yes. So as we mentioned, going to be using the peaceful cabin, and I'm going to be pairing it with the first card of peaceful deer. So they are peaceful cabin is on page number. Well, peaceful deer is on page number. 26 out of the catalogue here and this comes as a bundle so you can buy the punch and the stamp set together down there and you save yourself 10 percent so that's that one got some lovely inspiration in the catalogue as well and it, the peaceful cabin is a suite here so you can get everything on this page under one product number which is this one down here so if you like absolutely everything so you've got the stamp set the dies you've got some of the snowy white velvet sheets you've got the embossing folder you've got the sequins you've got some of the trim and you've got the design the series paper all comes under one product number or you can buy them individually if you want to you've got them all over here as well but bearing in mind that this, this one here does come as a bundle so you can actually then get this one with 10 percent discount it's 49 pound 50 as a bundle so you definitely what just with this here you qualify with one free item and if you go for the whole suite you qualify for two free items okay so just keep an eye out on that but yeah there's some lovely stuff in this catalogue here as well so we're not going to show you all of that not so you've seen most of the stuff which we have purchased anyway if you're a regular follower of our channel so have a little look if you haven't and it doesn't have to be anything out of the christmas out of the new autumn winter catalogue you can choose anything from across the annual and the new catalogue up to the value of 45 pound and you will earn something free of charge so even if there's stuff in this you want you can still qualify for celebration as well one more thing which i do just want to quickly mention before i crack on with a demonstration is the joining offer currently at the moment and um, between now and the end of september if you would like to, if you've got a lot on your wish list, then I would really recommend you, you you think about this. Don't be scared of this join word. This is it's, the, it's just a word which we use to kind of like join our little community. But basically, for ninety nine pound, you get to choose a hundred and thirty pounds of a product, and you get to then pick a bundle over here to the value of your um, the, one of these bundles over here free of charge as well. So, and I think the most expensive bundle is around about fifty odd pound as well, fifty six pound. So, in total, you can get yourself a hundred and so 50, about one hundred and eighty pounds of a product for ninety nine pound. So, if that is something you are interested in, or you want to know a little bit more about that, please message us, and we can we're quite happily talk you through it and tell you what's um, what's involved. But don't be scared by this join word. Everybody is is quite scared by this. It's just think if you want to if you want to turn it into a little business like we have then fine we can help you with that but if you don't and you just want to get discount then we can we can save you some money okay so um please talk to us if that is something you are interested in and that's not just throughout this um obviously the, the extra bundle is until september but the joining offer is all year long as well so you still get to pick 130 pounds of a product for 99 pounds so if now isn't the right time then in a couple of months it is and you still want to get yourself 30 pounds of a product free of charge talk to us okay it's good. So that's that. Let's get on with the fun now. So peaceful cabin and peaceful deer. All the peas. So this is going to be the main focus, but I have paired the first one with this one right here. So what I've got is I am going to take myself some grey cardstock. So I've got myself some basic grey right here. And I'm just going to cut myself my card base down to size. Let's okay, move these out of the way. that's good so I'm going to cut this down to 14.6 and then I'm going to score that at 10.5 okay and that's my card base then ready so the, the next one I can use for the second card I'm sure I think I've already got that one ready but that's fine so that's that one and I'm going to be using the designer series paper so this is where should I put the designer series paper? It's over there. Hang on a minute. No, it's alright. I can get it. <laughs> oh yeah, who won? I reckon 
J1, I reckon. I asked the most last month. No, so I think we're tied. You think we're tied? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be using the Peaceful Place Designer Series paper. So this is part of the suite as well. Um, and it is gorgeous. It's really, really nice. All right. So the two pieces of paper I'm actually going to be using tonight is this one and this one right here. So I've already cut these in half. So the two sheets of paper I actually thought I was going to struggle with the most because they well, they they gear themselves up for more simple cards because they are ready just to cut down. You can get yourself a nice like, six by six card on this one here. Stamp a sentiment down. Job's done. Um, this one here, cut this into um, three panels and you can get yourself six card fronts and do a little sentiment down there and job's done. Or you can do a die cut and you can pop a sentiment there. Card, simple card is done. So so I tend to not use these ones as much because I think they're too too simple. But they are really, really pretty. And I, these, these are the ones which I've used tonight. So I'll show you it in its entirety, which is that one there. All right, so all I've done with this is I've just cut this one in half at six inches, okay, and I'm using it as a landscape. So I'll go through that one in a moment. So that's that. And then you've got these other papers here. So you've got this lovely check design, and then you've got these nice snowy, or silvery foiled snowflakes right there. You've got these trees, and then you've got the, the wood silver foil on that one as well. You've got the cabins, and then you've got the splats or the dots, whatever you want to call them. And you've got this pattern right here. Oh, sorry, Tommy. Got this pattern right here, and that's the other opposite side of what I'm actually using. And then you've got this one, and this one is gorgeous. I I, I nearly used this one here, but I'm scared to use it because it's too pretty. <laughs> So, um, but I will use this. This may be quite nice for a bit of home decor, actually. You could probably make yourself some nice home decor with this one. Um, get yourself a nice, you can cut out maybe a nice 8 by 8 and then you could then use the others, or you could do a nice um, scrapbook page for a 12 by 12 potentially on this one. Really, really nice. I think this is what this one might be geared up for, is to maybe scrapbook pages, and you can put some nice Christmas photos along the top here. And then you've got this bit here. It's really, really pretty. And then that is the back side. Just a nice, plain, simple, like diamond effect. So that's that. All right. So that's, they are the papers I'm using. Um, but as I've mentioned, I am using these two right here. So let me just pop that to one side. And pop that away before one of the cats sits on them. I'm just going to check with Krista to let us know. What's that? Oh, with Krista. Okay, because yeah, I think Krista done some counting as well, didn't she? So good. So, card base done. Let's pop those bits away as well because I've already got some out. And we're going to take this one right here. So I'm just going to take my trimmer again and I'm going to cut this card base down to... Let's need to get my... Thing. Going to cut this down to 14.6 by 10. So first of all, I'm going to take it to 10 centimeters. This is, and the reason I've gone with 10 and not 10 and a half is because obviously it's a 12 by 12 sheet. So obviously, you're, if you want to get three pieces, three cards from one piece, you need it to be four inches. So um, if you want it to be the full thing, so if I go with 10 centimeters, then that is just under the four. So it's one sixteenth under the four. And then that works quite nicely. I am also I'm gonna work I will cut this down to 14.6, but I want to just gauge where I want to cut it. So I'm gonna wait until I've done my stamping to do that one before I take the rest of it off. And that would make sense because I want the trees to kind of line up a little bit, so I will gauge that one in a second. It's time for us to change the blade again, but until I change the blade until it's really, really bad. Do you need I don't need a blade, no because I've got these lovely scissors where I can just give the paper a little bit of a trim. There's some um, nail file in the thing as well. Is there a nail file in this yeah. now? Do you want me to get it? No, it's right by the side of me. <laughs> <sighs> so. I'm just being helpful. Yeah, you're being annoying, not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying 
to sabotage my crafting. So I just give that a little bit of a tidy up just to take off some of those fluffy bits. All right, so that's gonna go on there. And then what that would do is that's just gonna give me a nice border side and side as well. All right, I'm also gonna take myself another bit of the basic gray and I'm just gonna cut myself off a one inch strip whilst I've got my trimmer here. So one inch strip. go to one side and I'm going to take this to 14.6 which is five and three quarters and then I'm just going to cut this in half so basically I want um, two half inch strips I put it was just I could have taken off a half straight away but I didn't want to waste too much paper down at the bottom by taking off it at 14.6 and losing a whole strip so it was just easier to do it this way so and I've got two pieces here measuring 14.6 by, well, by half an inch. So what's that? That's 1.3 centimeters. It's just enough so that I can then use this as a bit of an edging on the stamped part in a moment. But I didn't want to use a whole piece. So I was just using a little bit. And I've got myself a bit of basic white here. So this is going to be measuring 14.6 this way. by seven, which is approximately that already, so I don't need to do that. So this is actually an off cut from a card which I was doing previously, um, which worked out quite nicely um, when we were preparing for class. This is an off cut from the, from the NA4, so it worked, it was, it worked quite, quite nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, um, Where's the scrap paper gone? There was, a, there was a piece here earlier on. What scrap paper? Just so I can tell, I don't get the table dirty. There was a piece here earlier on, but it's been tidied up. This one? Yes. <laughs> you, you did, that was when I was crafting, I put it away. Yeah. It was on the table. It was what I was, it was what actually what I was using this morning when I was crafting and left it on the table and Jay moved it. So he tied it, he, t he, he tied his up. He doesn't tidy up that often, you see, but he tied his up when he knows it's probably stuff which I'm going to be using. No. Yeah. I think no. it was scrap paper. Strategically <laughs> sabotaging me. Whatevs. Um. Thank you, Mandy. Thanks so much, Mandy. So I'm going to be using Evening Evergreen right here. Um, I think this is going to be a favourite colour for me for Christmas because it's a nice, it's a dark green and it works really nice with these with these trees. So I'm going to just stamp this up. You got luck. I will take it, Mandy, but I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a whole month. I, well, no, actually, we're going to lose a week this month because we're on holiday at the end of the month. So, um, <coughs> so I'm just going to stamp this oh, yeah. down here like this. Yes, so the end of August, we are on holiday. Um, and it's, so yeah, you probably won't have anything for us for a, a Sunday, a Wednesday and a Sunday. Because so because it's Jay's fortieth birthday on one of the Sundays on the twenty on the twenty ninth of <laughs> August Jay turns the big four zero. So yes, yeah, so we and we're going hopefully fingers crossed all being well COVID tests aside we are going on a cruise. So good. Um, I am going to just stamp the little fox right here. So I'm going to do this one in black. I just want to... I'm just going to pop this little feather in between those trees like that, as if it's kind of like walking, walking in the trees. And that's that one. And what I'm also going to do, in walking in the snow, I'm also going to take this deer right here. So this is where I'm now mixing and matching. I'm going to take the deer from the peaceful deer and I'm going to 
to pop this one down like that down there and I'm going to take the sentiments and I'm going to stamp sending you love and peace this season and I'm going to pop that up the top up here like this I just need to make sure I get that straight there Yes, I agree, Vicky. Um, I think that's why I quite like the Evening Evergreen is because it's a dark, because it's a dark ink. It, it works quite nicely with the blacks, but then, like you say, when you look closer at it, you can go, "Oh, that's actually a colour." So it works really nice with the black and white. I think this one is my favourite new ink color. I it was one of my I know it was one of my favourite ink colours when my, when they come out because um, yeah, I know it was one I was quite excited about. I haven't used it that much, but I think it's kind of because it's because I use trees a lot at Christmas time. I think it's definitely one which is going to be used well now. All right, so I'm just going to pop those. Let's just clean everything. Did I clean? I don't know if I did. I did now. Just going to pop those away. Actually, I will need that one later on. Those. And also, what I've got here is I'm going to do a bit of colouring. So I've got myself some blends. So I've got myself the crumb cake light and the dark. So I'm just going to do some very basic colouring on here. So I'm just going to colour this old deer in. I said whole deer, not old deer. In lights. I just like the fact that you can mix and match between sets. I sometimes forget to mix and match, which is really bad sometimes. I don't know. Does anyone else do that? That they feel that they can only use what's what's in that set. So try and if you like that, like me, sometimes just go. I can use other stuff as well. And I'm just going to use the dark here just to kind of like go around some of the shading here. Where I think there should be some shading. Like that. And we'll use the light just to blend. Blend those out. And that's what the blends do. So they just you, they come like just soften some of those harsh edges around when you've been on a bit of shading like this. It does what it says on the tin. It blends them in. All right. So yes, I'm going to leave that as it is. Linda said, "Is there a way to make the deer look like it's nested in the snow?" Um. Yeah. Yes, with shading. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm gonna need to have to ask for something. <laughs> it, uh, what? What? Would I use the? See, this is Jay. This is Jay. I've only got the crumb cake here. This is Jay's department. I would say on the blending to actually help to work this out. So what, or, what, or you can. What uh, suggestion would you give for that? I wonder because I don't want to give you uh, Jay, Jay's the blending king here. So. I'm just going to ask his advice on how he would blend this out. Do you or actually you want to? Do you just mask. want to do a bit of shading here for us? Yeah. yeah okay, Linda, I'm going to pass you, pass you over to Jay, and Jay's going to just show you how you can maybe just bring the shading in just a little bit, and then that will hopefully between the two of us we can do. It. So or I'm just going to let blending brushes or blending brushes. So I'm going to just get let Jay do a little bit. Um, well, I've got 
slight smoky slate I would probably just do like the side so if you just do that use your color lifter and shade out or blend out um, and then you can add a couple more here on the side here but you you'll probably need to do some at the front here so it looks like so you just want a tiny bit on there how else would probably if you do just a couple and then bleed out so you pretty much just add I'm just adding it so normally I would I would mask a couple of these on here so then some of the legs aren't stamped perfectly if that makes sense and then you can just add shading more on the legs and in between those areas and then actually if I do that blend that out so I'm pretty much using the color lifter just to give hints of the gray so it and you can even add a bit more on here but I don't want to do too much but I hope that looks okay yeah I think that does just look like it Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> thankfully it didn't swear <laughs> did that help you um, did that help you there Linda or anyone else with the shading so you can see that I think that just definitely just makes him look oh this little deer looks like she is just nestled into a little bit of a little bit of a dip in the snow where she's been sitting down so um so good which that's why I wanted to pass you over to Jay for that one there because I would have been I would have done but I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have fought it through like that um so Jay has just finished that off quite nicely. So good, so well done. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to now, this is now where I want to now think about what I want to now take off. So I've kind of like got the trees lined up here and they're roughly in line with the trees. So I want to take the, make this part 14.6. So I wanna take off the top here, all right? So that's why I didn't do that to start off with because I just wanted to see how I'd done that one. So I can then take this down to 14.6 and take it off the top there. And whilst I'm at it, give my paper a bit of a haircut. We get through blades really quickly, just the sheer amount which we um, which we cut and prep for classes, which is why I it still cuts it and if I just give it a little bit of a bit of a trim or so as some people have said a nail fired if you get some fluffy edges as well just be careful that you don't just stress it too much will also work so if you are getting fluffy edges that's fine just need to change your blades over especially if you do a lot of cutting. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm just gonna take a very small, these little thin pieces and I'm just going to then pop a little bit of glue along the edges here. And then I'm just going to then pop this in like that and I'm just going to have that little little grey area poking out from the side and I just realised what I was going to actually do I'm going to take that off because I, I, on my original one I've done it with the grey but I wanted to do it with the silver this time and actually see what it was so I'm going to 
I haven't done anything, so I've actually got the silver foil packs here as well. So you've got, oh, that's, oh, I love that. you've got the nice, the silver, silver, you've got a matte silver, and you've got this brushed, um, brushed metal silver right here. So I think because it's very, gonna, it's, a, it's a nice dark one, I'm going to go with that one, but because it's a silver, it's, I'm just going to, it's just going to sparkle a bit more. All right. So I'm just going to take my trimmer again. And I'm just going to take off, on this one what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off a half an inch strip all the way like that. And then I'll then cut this down to then 14 points, um, 14 point six, five and three quarters and do that twice. And then I only get a little, a little bit of wastage down there. All right. So... So then what we can do is we can do this again. So I can pop a little bit of glue on this one. So this, because this is now on a shiny surface, it's probably going to take a little bit longer to set up. So just take your time. And because it's on this nice silver, I'm going to maybe just have a little bit, maybe make it a little bit bigger. All right, like so. And we'll do that on both sides. That one actually stuck quite well is because initially because I removed it, um, it had, uh, the, the glue which was already down it had gone quite tacky, so it had grabbed the um, it had grabbed the silver foil quite quickly. So if you are using silver foil, it might be worthwhile putting a little bit of the Tombow glue down, let it go tacky, and then it may it's going to grab it a little bit easier. All right, so that's just gone on like that. So we've got this nice foil here. And then I can then stick this one down directly down onto the card base. Yeah, it is lovely paper. It's yeah, it's really nice. Fold and vanish. And then just quickly before it sets up too much, I've got a little bit of wiggle room still. There we go. And I like, like the fact that it's. Um, I like the the border either side on there as well. And I'm just using this as a glue rubber I've got in here. Now this is again because I've just got a few of those straggly fluffy bits. And this just goes along and it's another way of just tidying up some of your edges. So that's that. Then to finish this one off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my some dimensionals here. And I'm going to pop some dimensionals on this. So we'll put these down. So we, um, I need to respond to the lady who did actually ask a question um, by a comment, but just in case she's watching, I can't remember your name, but if you're, you probably know you asked a question recently, why we popped the lines on the dimensionals. It, again, it is just purely just to make sure that we can see really where we have, what ones we have and haven't taken the backing papers off. Um, it's easy to find on the table. It's easy to identify what, what size they are. But when you're using quite a few like I have done, like this, it's it's just easy to then actually see them. And know what ones at a glance, what ones I have and haven't taken the backing papers off. So all we do is we just take our blends and then we just we just draw lines across them. Alright, so that's that. So, and then I haven't had to go, oh, what ones have I taken off? And then go and 
stick made sticky mitts all over it so I'm just gonna then stick this down on the center like this and there we have card number one so you've got the silver foil on the designer series paper you've got the nice foil here in hindsight maybe I should have used a lighter one so it maybe matched the the trees but then it may have just blended in but I think the brushed metal one works quite nicely with the cardstock I think that just adds another another element to it my original card if I show you the original that was the original one so there's my coloring and I did a second generation but on this one I decided to do a first generation I'm actually pleased I did a first generation so that was the original one here oh, I've, oh I can't do it now um I may be able to do it let's see um and you can see there's the coloring without the shading down at the bottom you can see what Jay's just done there with the shading so I'm just going to now grab my blue this is very very gently I'm going to do this I'm going to go some balmy blue and I'm just going to go over the sentiment here. So this is the snowflake from the set. Oh, thank you, bling bling crafter. That's it, and I'm going to leave that there. And that has just added just a little bit of detail. I think you can see that. I can't see it. You can see it because my screen's too bright. Um, but you can see it's just added some of those snowflakes to the sentiment down there as well. Um, it would be it would have been slightly better if I had done it when it was flat, and that's what it would have been like. But it's still there. You can still see the detail behind it. Just adds a little bit of detail there. So there we go. There is card number one for you. All right. So we're going to move now promptly on to card number two. So I'm just going to reset quickly. Um, and. Jay will tell me if there's any questions or comments I want to be aware of. Adhesive wrap remover or adhesive rubber was what you used, wasn't it? It was, yes. So um, again, you can pick this up. Just I think it's just like a, a, a glue eraser. Yeah, stamping and up used to do this. Yeah, ones. stamping up used to do it, but unfortunately they don't anymore, um, which is a shame. But you can get hold of them quite easily. All right. Looks great. Everyone's loving it. Gorgeous, says Gian. Thank you. Uh, bling, 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 crafter said, uh, best one I've seen since the catalogs went live. Thank you very cool. much, Pat. Um, beautiful. Uh, uh, Linda says, love it. Uh, very beautiful, says Anne. Lovely. Well, thank you all. So I hope you like the second card just as much. So let's just bring some stuff in. I'm not going to show you the original, but not yet. So, good. Um, all right, so I'm going to be using, again, the basic grey. This is the designer series paper, which I'm going to be using right here. Um, so remember this is the one which has got your four squares so don't be scared I think what the this one might be quite daunting because so far I've got a square I'm now going to be using this and I've got this big line going down the bottom down there now I'm actually going to probably use this one right here but I'm actually going to cover up this portion right here so it doesn't actually look like there's a join so this card which I'm making is going to be it's going to be ideal for this to actually get rid of that join if you don't want to use it otherwise you may be stuck and going so far I've got to make square cards you don't have to you can still get away and do this using the our normal A6 cards so I'm going to be using the dies on this as well so these are the cabin dies which coordinate with the set all right and this is them here all right so you've got it you stamp it it stamps out the fence the fox the trees and some detail if you want to do some detail you get some solid trees you get a fence you can get a you can stamp the fox and die cut the fox on its own or you can um, do the fox on his own little hill right here and then you've got the back one where you do some of the detail on it as well so i know that some of you are probably looking at goes how do i use this one because it cuts out you can stamp it out and you can cut the detail out and then you could then probably pop some 
I'll do a bit of paper piecing behind it so you could pop some yellow bits behind here to maybe have some lights on in the cabin potentially some yellow behind it it's going to be time consuming but you could actually that there's there's quite a bit which you can do with that one if you want to or you can just have it i've seen people do it where it's just been put like on a neutral card so it's just some crumb cake and then that's just coming through as well so i think there's lots you can potentially do with that one so i'm hoping jay might be able to come up with some nice ideas for that hint hint <laughs> he's just gone <laughs> all right so let's do some cutting and get this ready so i'm going to take my card base first so first things first is this is going to be cut 14.6 so five and three quarters and then score that at ten and a half which is four and a, um four and one eighths All right, so there is my card base ready. Let's fold and burnish that. I'm going to take my designer series bit of paper. So this one right here. Again. And I'm going to cut this now down to 10 by 14.1. And by 14.1 let's take it off the base on this one here because that's the part which is going to get covered up the most and I'll see it then removes this this join here all right give my paper a little haircut again What's that for, Jay? Just another different. Okay. Cabin by the lake. We can have blue. Blues. So that's that there. And that is going to get stuck directly down onto my piece right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick that down right now. glue's running out but I do have another bit of glue ready if need be. Now I'm deliberately not putting glue at the top here because I might do some stamping on this later on so I'm not popping glue there and that's the part which is going to be shown the most. Um, you may be aware see sometimes that when you use the wet glue because it's wet you do get, you do sometimes see the lines come through with the glue so just be careful which is why I'm not going to do it at the top here because that's the part which is going to be on show the most. All right, so that's just gone down like that, and that's it. And even that on its own, obviously, forget about this here. Even that on its own, you can stamp a sentiment in here, and you've got yourself some really simple bulk Christmas cards. If you want to do that, do it that way. And then you've still got another piece which you can then create this card again um, with a different different background. So even though you can do this card um, three times, you'll get three different backgrounds every time you do it. So it still looks different. So that's that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself some basic whites. And I'm just going to do myself some stamping. But I just need to prepare my cardstock first. A bit of room. Hi Julie. Hi Bianca. Okay, good. Some scraps in here which is good. Those ones there. Perfect. So I'm going to take my bits of paper here. So I'm going to have one which is measuring 10 centimetres by 8 centimetres. So if I go, yeah, so if I take it to 8 centimetres here by 10, because then that's going to be the width of the card which I want it to be. All right, so that's going to be one which is going to go across like that. And then I want another piece which is measuring 10 by 10. And that's 
there's some scraps which can go in your scrap box. And that part's going to be 10 by 10 here. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a trim along the sides on the 10 inch part. I'm not worried about the... Um, I'm not worried about the top and the bottom because those parts are going to get covered up or die cut away. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a trim on the sides. I'm just too I'm just too stingy to change the blade. Or you just don't want another point. Just don't want another point. Um, but all the time I can get away, all the time I'm happy to do that. The blade is still fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I get the best out of my blades, and I'm gonna use them until they really are not um, not performing, and then the scissors aren't Why always don't becoming. You em embrace the fussy edges and it, make it distress. I could embrace the fussy edges. Yeah, I suppose you could just embrace them. If if all four sides look fuzzy, then it's it's just a distressed card. Um, <laughs> That's what I did with one of my cards. Um, so yeah, so just embrace the fuzz. <laughs> embrace the fuzz. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna bring down this as well. So I've got myself my basic. Um, I've got myself my memento, and I'm gonna stamp the cabin now. So I'm just going to get this nice and juicy. Ink up this cabin. I love this cabin. I think it's it's just so pretty. And I'm just going to pop this one. Let's bring this down here in the center of this, like that. And then round we go, just make sure, because there's a lot of detail on this, I'm just making sure it's connected and holding it in place. And then I can then bring it off. And just look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? Yes, Summer, uh, summer Christmas, Jay's just said. As somebody said, I suppose yes. we have problems, obviously, don't we, with the with everyone, um, I suppose, Australia side. Obviously, you, get, you have warm Christmases, don't you? So, which is always a bit of an issue when it comes to this, isn't it? But I think you could do a really nice one. I think I have seen some nice ones with you. But just by changing the colours, you could turn this into a nice warm card. That's Jay's challenge as well. Thanks. Thanks. There you go. Jay's doing the videos on Sunday. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing anything on Sunday. I'm having a night off. Um, so that's that one, um, and then I'm going to then use the next piece, which is this one right here, to do the trees. So I'm going to pop that to one side and do the cutting in a moment. So I'm going to bring my trees back in again, and I'm going to be using Evening Evergreen for this. Again. And... We'll just stamp that up. Can you just add green to it? And there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this towards the top. And then just again make sure that connects. And there's our little forest going on right there. So we're done with that. Done with that. So let's just clean as I go. So I'm done with those ones right now, so they can get popped to one side. In there. Whilst I've got this out, I'm going to do my stamping of the fence as well. So I'm going to pop that to one side, and I'm going to get my fence here, and I'm going to stamp this also in memento. So a bit of scrap paper. fence down like that. We will be using the deer, but the deer, not the deer, the um, fox, but he's just going to get stamped directly down into the snow. 
So good, so that's those. Um, so I'm gonna do some die cutting now. So I'm gonna die cut the cabin, the trees, and the fence. So I will grab these and take these out. So I'm gonna take the cabin. So remember what we do with these, if you haven't done, what we do is before we take these dies out, we get a pen and we just draw around them. Then that way it's easy to know what ones you've used and what ones are missing and one, where they all go again when you've got them all taken off because you're going, where, you can never fit them back on again. So this here, I know where this is gonna position every single time and I'm not gonna have any problems. And it's at a quick glance, it's easy to know if you have missed, if you're missing any before you continue tidying anything up or wait rather than waiting until next time you use it and go, where is it? And then by then it's, it's, it's completely gone. So that's that. I haven't got a magnetic platform, so I'm gonna be using some removable tape just to hold the dies in place whilst I do my die cutting. So I'm gonna bring the sookie over. I do have the large machine. These probably, they will go through the small machine, but because my card is too big, the card is too big for the machine, but the dies would actually go through the mini machine as well. But depending on if you have got, depending on how big they are, all right? So I'm just gonna pop this in and I'm just gonna use some of my removable tape just to Hold this in place. If anyone can hear some faint thunder in the background, it's my belly. <laughs> Sorry. You do just still need to be careful because the removable tape, well, because obviously it's had some pressure put onto it, you still run the risk of it being pushed down too much. And then when you put it off, it's going to then put away the card, the, the, the actual damage the card stock. So just be aware of that one. So try not to go over your stamped image. Try to stick it down this side, the part which you're not interested in, rather than sticking this side just in case it damages it. All right. So I'm just going to line this up. And we'll stick it this side, so any damage won't uh, won't affect it. And I'll just do a little bit here as well. Good. So that's that one. takes that off quite nicely and that's how that cuts that cabin out which is beautiful and then let's do the same with the let's do the same with the trees tape reuse this tape it's fine to reuse so I'm just going to do it this way so I can actually get it positioned first then I'll turn it round into the machine in a second so I when lining up I'm kind of looking for the points of the trees which is a good good indication and then down we go and then one over there. All right. So you can. Uh, I'm making this as a an upright portrait card, but obviously these dies work quite nicely for landscape as well because you can see the hills go as or well, you can chuck it away. Uh, the hills go landscape so they are quite you can do you can do two the two styles are they, alive? they are the hills are alive <laughs> or the hills have eyes 
Yeah, let's not scare everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so okay, I'd go ahead and I will chuck all of that bits now. All right, so there we have, let's move this out. So that's the hardest part. The rest of this is actually really simple and doesn't actually take too long to do. So what we're gonna do here then is we're gonna then kind of position this like so. So you can position that behind and then that's going to go down like that. So just pop some glue on the back, kind of like midway on this hill here. So if you could do, you could also put some dimensionals between all of this if you wanted to. And you could have it a bit more um, have some more depth to it if you really wanted to I'm going to keep it as a single layer so we've got that there and then once I know that I can actually pop some, could have put some glue on the actual tree behind here um, and down there a little bit just to connect those two pieces so again, at first glance, they look black, but you can actually, obviously, I don't know if not you can see it in, ca in on camera as well, but I know in person, at the closer look, you can actually see that those trees are green in there. All right, so I've got a bit of a dirty, I've got a bit of a dirty plate, so I'm just going to grab my glue eraser and just take off some of those, those bits which are just stuck to it. This will last you forever. I don't think this would ever probably run out. You probably got some of these from when you were at college, Jay, didn't you? These glue erasers. Did you ever get rid of them at all? Uh, mm, no, I've never had that one. Have you never had one like that? No. I, think. I used to have a putty rubber. Yeah. Um, and then what I can do is I would then stick this down like that. I don't want to embrace the flat files. I want to get rid of the files. There we go. Yeah, no fussy. <laughs> so, and then that can then go down like that. So you can see this paper works quite nicely, and you can really see the green popping out from that black and white and the silver on here. So I'm just going to now take some glue and stick the whole thing down. So, and it's quite nice because it because it's kind of like po, po, um, because it's cut this little hole out as well. You can then see the trees through the through the gap in the lodge, so in the cabin, which is um, I think a nice little detail, which it just adds there. So it just look odd having a white bit there with nothing. So it's just those little details I think which makes these dies really really special. I'm going to then grab this. So you've got, you've got two options here. You can either do some stamping. If you left yourself a more of a whiter hill, you could pop yourself some stamping. Or if you've got a different sentiment, you could pop a sentiment down the bottom down there. I'm going to see whether or not this is going to fit over the top of this at the top here. It's a little bit tricky. I'm hoping this is going to work. If not, then we will go to my uh, my first card, which is exactly the same. And I'm going to stamp. I may just have to come off camera a little bit just to get my get my positioned myself positioned better. So bear with me one moment. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop that down here. And then you can then pop your sentiment in the top like that. And then we will take my fence. Yeah. 
and it, this this actually wasn't on Jay's list no, initially. It was, list. it was my list. I was the one that wanted this one, and Jay's the one that's going. Oh, I love it. I think there's two t there's two cabin dies sets in the in the catalogue. You actually preferred I the like, other one, didn't I you, like Jay? Both. Yeah, I like the other one. Yeah, you like the other one as well, but I think, I think this one has more. I think this one has more potential. I think the other one is only a stamp set. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to pop that down like that. So this is your final call, actually, to get your names in, because I am just literally going to stamp the box, and we are done. And then we're going to pick a winner, and they're going to win the first card. And if you want to win this second card, you just come back afterwards and pop a comment down below. All right, so if you're not watching this live, then just pop a comment down below, and um, that's where it is. And I'm going to pop the fox. He's walking across the field. Right there. And hey presto, we have a card. That's it. There we go. What do you think? Are you happy with that? Do you like? So you can see their positioning is that you got different you got your, these different trees look different and the next one will be even different even more different as well because it's going to be a different it will be a different set so you can get yourself six cards two of each style really just using that and you can't tell that that's got a join down the middle down here very 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 faint join there but no one if no one's going to notice that now, now that I've told you, you're going to notice it. It should have <laughs> kept quiet. Um, so good. So do you like? So we have card number two and card number one right there for you. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up. And Jay's just going to take the last minute names down. And we are going to pick a winner. So I'm just going to tidy up my stamps. Because the last thing I want to do now is drop a dirty stamp on a card or drop a card on a dirty stamp. It's good. So who would like to win a card? Who's got your hands up? So have you got anything to show tonight, Jay? Jay's got some stuff to show as well, so he's got a couple of things to go and there we have it so remember these are from the new mini catalogue pages I'll show you that other I'll show you that other one if I can find it quickly whilst Jay's just taking the last minute names down there we go it's reflected in nature this is the other cabin set Sam stamp which Jay really likes as well um, wasn't so much on my list I didn't think it was a little I think it, I think it was a bit of a one trick pony but um, I'm great sure for great for simple stamping, and batch yeah. Making. Batch making. You can really get you can get technical with some colours on here as well. Um I don't think you can make it winter, you could make it mm. summer, you could do all sorts of this. You could get your dauber to stamp technique. I yeah. think it's more of a technique stamp and for quick, simple cards if you just want to do it time on time. So that's the other one. So that's on page sixty as the new catalogue. But remember this one here is on page thirty eight. That's why I got the idea of cabin in the lake. Ah, uh, okay. And then you've got this one right here, which is on page 38, which is this stamp set, or you can buy the entire bundle, which is this one, or the suite, as we called it, which is this one right here. Right. So good. So I think Jay has got everyone's names in now, so we are going to just get that ready. Jay is going to yes. show you some last minute bits. So this one, I hope you um, like this one with the sampling blends coloring using quiet meadow bundle. I say bundle, I did use a tiny bit of the the dye there with the leafy design. I call the leafy design, it's got more leaves. <laughs> but this one was from the Stamp Review Crew blog hop on Monday and I shared the photo on Instagram today and Facebook. A sneak peek uh, of this one quite simple with a bit of blending this is for the creating kindness design team blog up tomorrow i created another one and this one it and the sentiment is actually from the peaceful cabin and you can see 
the mm. trees as well and the stamps are all from and the, the, the suite actually comes with the embossing folder it does, as well. yeah, the, the wood embossing yeah. folder so yeah so check out the blog tomorrow there's another card i really like the heart um the second card one of my favorite again so yes so that's everyone yeah um felicia unfortunately we don't have the polar bear set which is a shame but um who knows we may it may but it, it didn't make our it didn't make up the, f the first cut but if we do a second um a second order yeah who knows who knows what the the whimsy trees are, are kind of made making its yes, way onto my one think, um they yeah. didn't make it onto the first cut so the polar bears may may make the second they are cut cute. if we do another order. We will see. Yes. Cool. <laughs> so um, so good. So we're going to pick a winner now. So if you've got your name in, we are going to pick one of you right now. So let's go over to that one. So good luck, everyone. There's a lot of names. There I was think. a lot of names in there tonight. Vicky, Vicky. congratulations, congratulations, Vicky. Vicky. Details on the screen, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com. Message us with today's date. And the first card will be working its way over to you. Yay. Well done, Vicky. Amazing. And that silver foil, brushed silver foil. Yeah. It's just lovely. So, yes, so lovely. congratulations, Vicky, uh, for winning that card. And don't forget to come back and pop in another comment in the section below for a chance to win this card and the drawing will be done on the next live stream which is on Sunday <laughs> oh hello Tommy so yes so I hope you enjoyed uh, Barry's demonstration didn't he do well I did we got Jay on Sunday I'm having the night off yes um, probably the same set yeah probably yeah. Okay. we'll see <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet but we will see so yes so thank you so much for joining us again yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, else? I'm distracted by a cat. Sorry. <laughs> Tommy's sat on me and so like, oh, he just wants cuddles. Are you going to say hello, Tommy? Hello, Tommy. <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you all for watching. And we will be back with you again. Same time, same place on Sunday, Sunday 7 p.m. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Take care. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Ooh, <laughs>